Hey Libra, welcome to your reading for the first half of April, 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much for joining me. I am excited. Yay, Libra! <laughs> um, please remember that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yeah? Let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Librans, sun, moon, and rising signs. Please bring forward the best messages for Libra during this time period of April 1st to the 15th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's get into this. <laughs> Libra. I'm feeling a lot of playful energy for you right now. This is cute. I like it. <laughs> Libra. Libra. One last shuffle, and then... I'll cut the deck. Oops. Ooh. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Ooh. One last shuffle, and then we'll cut. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. All right, Libra. You're a little stuck, huh? Something's, something's not quite lining up. I don't know. First we were playful. Now we're all over the place. <laughs> joyful. Okay, joyful. Underneath the whole deck, you're... Wow. Okay, so you've got the hermit. Who else got the hermit? I just did someone. 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 Was it Gemini? No. I don't remember. But <laughs> someone got the hermit, too, in this very same position. One of the other... One of the other signs. So, for you, Libra, what does this mean? You're going within. Uh, you're trying to find guidance here. Um... <clears throat> things are a little up in the air for you, maybe. Things feel a little out of balance, so you're trying to go within and figure things out. Woo! Well, look at that. There you are, Libra. Justice. Yay! All right, so yeah, something does feel very out of balance for you, and that's not something that you like. The uh, page of, I'm sorry, the Ace of Pentacles, and finally the Eight of Cups. Yep, moving away from something. But that joyful energy that was coming through is elation, because it's like, Oh, 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 I get it. That's what the problem has been. And now you can move away. Uh-oh, something else wants to. There's another, some nine of swords. Yeah, okay. So you're still kind of anxious, upset about it. Uh, uh, still kind of having some anxieties, losing sleep, nightmares, whatever. Um, it, I don't feel like it was really the best situation for you. But in any event, you're walking away. You're connecting with yourself, you're, you're, you're finding your inner divinity, you're finding your inner light, and you're bringing that out, you're letting it shine, and you are walking the fuck on. Okay. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> All right, let's get into the storyline here. Starting off, we have the, yup, the Ace of Swords. Hello, need I say more? With the wheel. Yeah, with the wheel. So the seasons are ending. Cycles are changing. Um, you are actually, you could be going uh, in, whatever this Ace of Swords energy is, has kind of led you into like this, this cycle of just things changing constantly around you while things balance with justice here, okay? Um, uh, it's not a bad thing. It's actually pretty a, a pretty good thing for you, Libra, because it's allowing things to shuffle and, and superfluous uh, remnants or whatever to be shaken out of the system and removed from the system so that you can um, balance out for real and really like kind of settle down in a sense. Next, we have the Ten of Pentacles with uh, the devil. Oof. Okay. So there was a family situation here that was pretty toxic. Um, there was also... For some of you, there's quite a bit of materialism. Um, this Ace of Swords situation, uh, whatever was illuminated by the Ace of Swords, could have actually been um, you realizing you your attachment to, or maybe someone else's attachment to materialism, um, and, and you know, you know, spending all of their time and energy just trying to make money and and, and neglecting anything else that. Um, didn't serve that need to be like ridiculously rich, okay? And um, what's happening here with is you're going within 
and you're realizing these things. Um, and uh, I hear you're bringing them to the forefront so you can deal with them, justice, so you can balance it out, okay? Yeah, but there was a, there's definitely a family situation involved with this that um, was not cute. This was not cute. Moving forward, we have the King of Pentacles with the world. Okay. So keeping with the, with the family situation, the King of Pentacles here does represent the patriarch of the family and um, the ending and, and what this is saying in here in this combination, for those of you that are resonating with this part of the message, the ending of his tyranny is here, is what I've, what I heard. Um, for others of you, this is the end of this materialistic view that you had, this, this extremely materialistic reality that you were building for yourself. Um, I'm not really sure what it was that, that brought on this Ace of Swords energy for you in terms of this materialism, but it's ending. Uh, it's really ending. Justice is being served. Mm. <laughs> Some of you can be, could be um, involved in a legal battle around theft, swindling, smuggling, um, laundering even. Ooh, that's icky, honey. That's icky. But it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. Don't you worry. Moving, oh look, the Knight of Cups, guys, with, oh my goodness, all the gifted. <gasps> okay, so this is actually the first time this card has come out in any of these general readings I've been doing for the YouTube page since I got this deck. This is a unique card to this deck. Now, this is the um, Tarot Apocalypsis deck. I love it, but this card, all the gifted, depicts Pandora and her box. And this card talks about um, uh, either being afraid to pr let your inner power shine, be um, afraid to use your powers for good for others, or um, choosing to do so, going on a, like going to a point where you're doing it. I I'm sorry. I want to do this card some, a little bit more justice than that. So I'm going to pull out my book for a second because I did read it, but I read it once. Um, and I understand it from an energetic point of view, but putting it into words, unfortunately, is not working out for me right now. So let me just read it. It is the first one here. Yes. So um, it, it, this, this speaks to giving of oneself to others, bestowing goodness and blessings, identifying one's strength, strengths, so they can be used for the benefit of others or the wider community. Acknowledging oneself as divinely created and gifted. Hope for the future, the self. In the negative aspects of it is fear of the self. Fear of negatively affecting others and a situation. Withholding one's gifts to oneself. Now, for the most part, I am picking up that with this prince or knight of cups here, and the, the all the gifted card, this is a positive aspect of it. This is you moving forward with your life and using your gifts to help people in the future. Um, it could even be taking your life experience here, the, the lessons that you've learned either so far throughout your life or just with this one specific situation maybe, um, and helping and bringing it towards others, telling your story in order to help people in similar positions. Yeah, that's excellent. I mean, I, I literally see you turning lemons into lemonade here, which is great, Libra, which is really, really great. Moving forward, we have death. Transformation station, y'all, with the five of wands. Um, Death to these opposing views. Death to too many cooks in the kitchen. Death to the chaos. Death to the chaos. And it's funny because there is quite a bit of 
well, yes, death to the chaos, but then also you're going through this transformation, and because of this transformation, there's a ton of chaos around you. And that was that's like a, a, a confirmation of the message that came through with the wheel. You had this inspiration with the Ace of Swords, and now things are just kind of rotating so that you can get out of this situation, and it does feel chaotic. Um, you're not really stable. You can't. You haven't really settled down somewhere or something like that. What that is saying is, or, or what the what death and the five of wands is saying to you is, this is happening because of the transformation you're going through. So don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Moving forward, we have the eight of wands, swift movement, swift communication, with the two of swords. So uh, you are kind of in a a hold right now. Um, you're trying to figure out your next move. You're trying to figure out what the best option is for you. Um, but it's not going to take you too long to figure it out. And once you do figure it out, things are going to move very, very quickly. Okay? You're, and with precision, too. I really like the way the Eight of Wands is depicted here because we have this archer who is just focused. Laser focused, even. Yeah? Excellent. Next, we have Princess of Cups with the Ace of Cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is this love? Yeah, it might be. For some of you Librans, there could be someone out there that in all this, amidst all this chaos, you might meet somebody. Serendip serendipitously. This um, chaos, this change in cycle, this, this uh, death and transformation could facilitate um, a reconnection with someone a resurgence of a relationship with someone. Um, it may give you the opportunity to start over with somebody. That's really nice to see here, to be honest. I'm not getting too much from it, because again, everything is really, there's a lot of flux going on right now, but for some of you, this is lining up to, to bring love into your life. Mm. Like, uh, okay, something specific I am picking up. Some of you could be moving relocating and there's great there's potential you could potentially meet somebody in this new place you're going to yep <laughs> okay finally for you libra we have the king of wands with the four of cups hmm. please excuse a pause i'm just uh i'm channeling here because this, this message is a little more obscure. Libra, I see you. Um, oh, okay, 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 I get it. So what's going on here is in this, you're being, you're being um, advised here with uh, the Four of Cups and the King of Wands. And the advice here is as, um, as this wheel turns, and cycles change and things come in, come in and out of your life and, and, you know, it's kind of chaotic and whatnot. Really spend time in meditation and, re and connecting with your passion, what your driving force is. Re and it's, it's perfect. It's really perfect that um, all the gifted and the uh, king of wands came out um, right next to each other um, because... The King of Wands is the passion and the and the drive that um, and the gift really that Pandora is holding in her box. Okay, so uh, the universe is really asking you to take some time to uh, calm the mind, um, do some yoga, some medita uh, some meditation, and stay connected with the fire that drives you. Yeah. Stay connected to what you're passionate about. Really, don't allow any of what's going on right now deter you from your truth, deter you from what it is you really want to do. I know you want, you might, you might feel kind of impulsive right now towards doing whatever it is you want to do, uh, getting just getting going on whatever whatever it is you want to achieve. But right now might not be the best time. It might be best just to fall back right now and just hold on. 
Hold on to that fire that you've got, you know? Maybe stoke it a little bit. See if you can do anything to, like, make it a little bigger, you know what I mean? Like, that kind of thing. Work on developing whatever you're passionate about is right now um, so that once things do settle down and you're the, f and, and, you know, you, you're free to move forward, now you've got even more to work with and you may even have more of a plan of action. Yeah? That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Libra. There it is for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope this was helpful. And I will see you guys for the second half of April readings. Yeah, much love to you. Take care. Bye.